Hi, it's Mike Snyder with USA Today. And while the rest of the Dad Rock team heads out and checks out the music scene here in Nashville, I'm going to check out the beer scene. So I headed to Yazoo Brewing, and I'm going to talk to Linus Hall, who founded the brewery here in Nashville. Welcome to our tap room. I was a college student, started home brewing in, in uh, 1993. Um, and uh, my wife and I got married. We moved here in, to Nashville in 1996, and I was still home brewing up a storm. And I had so many friends tell me, hey, your beer's really good. It's as good as anything I'm tasting out in the, out in the market. And so, you know, once the bug had gotten put in my head about starting a brewery, it's pretty much impossible to quit thinking about it. Came down here and saw that, you know, there's nothing in the craft beer scene. There was a few uh, local brew pubs that are making good beer, but if you wanted a good handcrafted beer made locally, you had to go to their places. You couldn't buy it in the stores. And so, I was like, you know what? We're not going to do a brew pub. We're going to do a production brewery, real small, hand, handmade batches, and just try to get it out there. And so we focused on beers that paired really well with food that you could sit down and have three or four of. You know, great flavor, but finished, you know, finished clean. Uh, with beers like our American Pale Ale, um, our Dos Peros, which is our take on a Mexican amber, and our German style Hefeweizen were some of the first ones we started out with. One of our newest ones now is a beer that I named after my grandfather. Uh, he was a big football player back in, you know, back in the 1930s. Uh, it was an All-American at Ole Miss. Uh, went on to play professional football and all of his grandkids called him Daddy-O. And so I really wanted to have a beer named after him. Our take on a, on a classic American Pilsner, it's got a nice German lager yeast, but we use a lot of American hops in it. So it's got a nice kind of citrusy bitterness to it. We've also branched out into a lot of what are, are called our wild and funky line. It's called Embrace the Funk. Um, this is one that we're, we just released. It's called Lanage a Trois. It's got basically three different types of Tennessee uh, alcoholic beverages in it. And so it's got our beer that was aged in the local uh, vineyards, red wine barrels, and they got their barrels to age their wine in from a, a well-known distillery down south of here. So it's had Tennessee whiskey, it's had Tennessee red wine, and now it's got Tennessee uh, beer in it. So it's three lines. It's a raspberry beer, perfect. It's tart and sour. Whew. All this talking's made me thirsty. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, we do have a tap room that's open to the public. Um, we're open Wednesdays through Saturdays for tours and tastings. Uh, good idea is to check out our website, yazoobrew.com. You can, you can actually book a tour online there. It's a real popular place. We're not the only brewery right here. You can hit four other breweries within walking distance. So, you know, if you're in Nashville, I hope you'll come by and have a pint.